Good morning. Welcome to a little bit of hope this morning. It is a beautiful, chilly winter day. And I am blessed to be inside where it's warm, certainly in the chapel this morning. Just a, couldn't resist to let the sunshine pour in through those stained glass windows behind me. This morning, our, our psalm is a pilgrimage song, really, Psalm 128. Everyone who honors the Lord, who walks in God's ways, is truly happy. You will definitely enjoy what you've worked hard for. You'll be happy, and things will go well for you. In your house, your wife will be like a vine full of fruit. All around your table, your children will be like olive trees freshly planted. That's how it goes for anyone who honors the Lord. They will be blessed. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you experience Jerusalem's goodness your whole life long. And may you see your grandchildren. Peace be on Israel. You know, as I read that, and I realize that there's so much going on in life for many people, but I go to the first, say, three verses or four verses. The rest seems to be a message for, for Israel or sometimes an ideal setting. But everyone who honors the Lord, who walks in God's ways, is truly happy. And that can only be because God has established a way. Uh, God has established for us through the laws and through Jesus' teachings uh, a way to be better, whole, to be uh, trusting and relying on the Holy Spirit. You will definitely enjoy what you've worked hard for. You'll be happy and things will go well for you. And I don't think that really the, the psalmist is speaking to our time in the field or at, behind a desk at work. I think it's the psalmist is speaking to uh, working to walk the way that God has intended us to. In your house, and it goes on and talks more specifically, but towards the end, Peace beyond Israel is a message, to me anyways, that it was directed towards Israel, towards maybe something that we need to investigate to fully understand. But the message for the first half of this is universal. I think a part of our, our goal in life is to, say, ramp it up as far as our uh, interest, our studies, our opportunity to explore more of who God is and who we can become because as we discover who God is, we discover maybe the difference in where we are and where we can go, which in itself is a blessing for me. It's a, it's a constant, I say, challenge to get us to to more holiness, to a better lifestyle, a happier lifestyle, a more complete lifestyle in Jesus. So as I think about that this morning, I think about what opportunities we have, with opportunities for small groups even, where we can get together, Bible studies, explore scripture, even across Zoom or other means, things we can read, uh, things we can catch up on YouTube or Facebook that draw us closer to God. It's a challenge in a way with all the other noise and distraction in the world to walk in God's ways and to discern what those ways are. Because that big $10 word of discern certainly has more work behind it as we 
explore where God is is truly inviting us and how we can be more than what we are. Just some thoughts this morning as I'm looking at Psalm 128. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you and praise you for this day you've given to us and for this time together, for the opportunity to explore your scripture. For your psalmist has said, happy are those who walk in the way of the Lord. And Lord, we ask for your help in discerning to understanding to exploring that way and how that way is separate maybe from where our society is walking right now. Clarify, clarify our thought process. Clarify our understandings, Lord. Guide us towards you. Lord, bless us in this time together. We ask, Lord, that you lay your hands upon Brett Cook, upon his entire family, nurture them, care for them, keep them safe, uh, certainly bless and work within uh, Brett's body. Mike and his family as well, Lord, continue to nurture that and help his blood counts and other things that he needs to, to make, him, make him healthy again. Lord, we lift to you all those with COVID right now, Lord, heal them, care for them, guide them. Uh, we ask, Lord, that you help us uh, stay healthy, uh, those that have not had it or those that have and are, are still uh, struggling with maybe reduced immunity from it. Lord, as a church, Guide us and care for us as uh, a society as a whole. Guide our leaders so that they may guide us. Bless our churches, Lord, our ministry, our finances. Help us to be hungry to explore your word. Meditate upon it. Study it. Discern where you are calling us and what truly your will is. Guide us, Lord, our hearts and our minds so we may be happy, complete. Not just in a setting or a situation, but in you, Lord, in any and all settings and situations. Lord, continue to move mountains in this culture and in our time and help us to be your hands and feet. We lift all that in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, my friends, good morning. Thank you for watching. It's great to be up online with you as we discover a little bit more. And it's a, it's a pilgrim's song. Think of this being sung in a way. Everyone who honors the Lord, who walks in God's way, is truly happy. You'll definitely enjoy what you've worked hard for. And you'll be happy. And things will go well for you. That's a message, isn't it? A strong message that calls us to understand what it takes to walk within God's will and way and to help others do the same. It's quite a challenge for a chilly winter morning. But I'm sure we'll be blessed as we explore it. So my friends, until we see each other again, any comments, concerns, or prayer requests, please place them in the comment section below. And we certainly lift to you, Lord, those prayers that, that have been shared with us. And we look forward to spending time together searching scripture. So my friends, until we see each other again, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a kind word, a random act of kindness. Help your neighbor. Help them discover truly who God is and God's will and God's way. So they may be happy as well. So be safe. God bless you. Those that are traveling know that you're in our prayers as well. Bye for now.